Hi, my mighty friends. Okay, so what you're looking at here is a natural gas trading history going from 1997 up to current on how our futures trade on the New York Stock Exchange for natural gas. Um, historically speaking, we have a tendency to hover between six and four dollars for MMBTU. Our experts have said that when you, if you follow the natural gas strips, when you see gas at a range between about four and a half to three and a half dollars per MMBTU, that is typically a good indication that you should look at your energy contract. Shop and lock your energy contracts because in their opinion, there's very little risk within that zone. And so in this chart, you can see that demonstrated as clear as daylight. If you lock right around here, then you protect yourself from paying anything here. So a couple of scary points in our history for how natural gas has traded occurred here in 2006, and this point is more like this, and then in April of 2008, uh, or rather not April of 2008, in, in um, uh, January and, and going through to November of 2008, we had this track here where our gas prices, is kind of more like this, um, above my little monstrous head here, but close to $13 for MMBTU. So customers who hadn't made a decision on their energy contract had no idea when this point was going to end. And if you see, that upward tick was going pretty steadily for the last couple years. In fact, they only saw a very temporary relief. You know, if this number here from March, uh, or rather May of 2006 hadn't existed, this would have all been in the same neighborhood. So customers who, who were at this point in 2008 locked and, and hoped that it just didn't keep on going. And at that time, I saw several contracts where people had a 25 or even a 30 cent rate in Texas. I know Hawaii is probably laughing their butts off right now saying, yeah, come and talk to us when it's over 50 cents. But that's a lot of money in our states where we actually have resources for energy generation. And we're not having to pipe it across an ocean to deliver uh, the commodity. So when you see the natural gas strip and you see, again, it's taking this upward tick, um, this is the time to lock long-term contracts. Uh, very momentarily in February of this year, we saw natural gas go up again and hit this $6 mark, which it has not been there since 2004. Well, well it was there in 2004 and then it went wacky and went a lot higher, but uh, this is very scary. So um, energy experts have been talking about all of the things that are happening, especially in the world of electricity, that could make this number um, an eight, nine, or ten cent rate for commercial, uh, a norm within the energy industry. And frankly, in my opinion, I think we've been very lucky to have energy prices as low as they've been for as long as they've been here. But at this time in April of 2012, this is where we hit our floor. So these windows don't happen very often. If I spoke to you in 2012 and advised you to lock a 48-month contract, you would have been paying close to three, maybe three and a half cents for every kilowatt hour of energy that you're using, and you would still have that rate today. In fact, you'd have it through 2016. So it's not as if I can say I told you so, but the numbers don't lie. So these are our normal ranges for natural gas. We're staying in that range. If you haven't pulled the trigger on executing a contract, you're simply exposing yourself to riding this unnecessary uptick in market and having to pay more for your kilowattage. Um, I believe that if you watch here, this go number goes through September. So we settled just under $4 per MMBTU. Now we're two weeks into November, or rather we're one week into November, and we've been through October, and we have still shown consistent growth in that um, in, in this trading price. So we're m more like four and a half dollars per MMBTU now in markets uh, trading that way today. We might see a few days where it falls back into low fours, possibly even just under four. Um, if you have a huge, huge amount of energy you have to purchase, then maybe it's worth waiting and timing for those small windows. 
But in my opinion, I don't think they will be there for very long. Um, we are headed back into a trend uh, that's, that's like this. And if you care to understand at all why, then keep watching my videos every week because I really do get into helping you understand why it's so important to make protective decisions for your home and for your, your business now. This is an avoidable penalty. This money that you're spending on energy, if you don't make the right choice here, will be taking up all of your funds for vacation or ballet lessons for your daughter or hiring new staff for your company and actually growing. This chart enables us to redefine sustainability as striking when market allows you to withstand or sustain the tumultuous nature of our natural gas and energy market curves. So I hope that gives you some insight as to what this strip means in the world of energy. And uh, if you have questions on your company or your home and how to make the right decisions in your area, I would encourage you to go to my website, which is mightyem.com, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to my YouTube page, or find me on Facebook. If you type in Mighty EM in any Google browser, you'll find several different ways to get a hold of me so that I can make sure that your costs are protected. Thanks so much for watching. Get Mighty on your side.